What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're opening the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set, Ancient Guardians. We have two booster boxes here. So this is a collector's rare set. Usually there's about one in every three boxes has a collector's rare. So we're not gonna hit that exact ratio, but we do have a good chance, about two out of three. Also, there's a giveaway for this video. I got a case of this set. We're gonna be opening it live on YouTube tomorrow. So, so come hang out guys, it's gonna be pretty awesome. We're gonna be opening 12 boxes, that's a case worth and hopefully getting some epic collector's rares. So I got these two from the local store because I'm opening my case live tomorrow, and I got these two Lost Art promos, so I'm gonna be giving these away to you guys. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think about the newest set. It's not too hyped, but I did look at the list, and the first thing is there's some cool GX cards, but the main thing, the names. The names are even worse than usual. Usually, they're like kinda hard to read. This time, someone is trolling. This is insane, so it's going to be crazy trying to read some of these names, but we're going to try it. It's going to be fun. So let's start off with the first booster box and read some of these insane names. Like, the names are crazy. They're just putting, like, <laughs> they're putting consonants in the middle of the word, like, where they should not belong. They're just, it's crazy. It's crazy. All right. Snake's Reign. Ancient Guardians. Here we go, guys. Here for the new set. It's so quick because we, it took two months to get Ghosts from the Past as the newest set. And then two weeks later, we have Ancient Guardians. So it's very weird. Um, the delay made everything just kind of wacky. All right, this these packs are everywhere. I'm not exactly sure to, like what's in this. So I go, um, for a new set, I usually go to the price guide. I check out, you know, what what's everything worth? You know, what's in here? I saw those names and I was just like, this is going to be, this is going to be insane. I don't know what I'm going to say. Okay, so uh, a reminder for these kind of sets, they have all rares except for the hollow spot, which is a super rare, ultra rare, or a collector's rare. Collector's rares tend to be one every three boxes, and then ultra rares are like three per box, something like that, pot of riches. And we've got the super rare, and it looks like they're in the last spot. I can't really remember. The last one of these was the set with, what's it called? It was like blue. This is only the third collector's rare set, I think. So the first set was obviously Toon Chaos. That one was amazing. Evil Evil Dragon and Anta. Fun fact, my very first YouTube video was a Duel Links video using Evil Dragon and Anta. So uh, <laughs> I haven't even seen that card since then, I don't think. So that's kind of funny. Damage right. And I did never saw that card then because it was Duel Links. <laughs> okay. Very weird. Okay, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. You guys see this? La Solfa Chord? La Solfa Chord. What does that mean? And then this, Ogdotic Light. Ogdotic Light, one of those two. I'm going to go with Ogdotic. I like that better. It is insane. It is insane. These names are nuts. So does anyone actually know how to pronounce them, or are we just going to guess? I saw it on uh, in, on Twitter. I think DZ tweeted about the name, and I was like, I'm in big trouble. There's a phenomenon. This comes as a collector's rare, which is really cool. Throwback to Tactile Evolution. We've actually pulled that in Ultimate Rare before. Sulfacord. Ooh, Ogdotic Remnant. It's the Ogdotic. I think Ogdotic is definitely how you say that. So just uh, take it from me, guys. The Yu-Gi-Oh! Expert. That's me, right here. Yu-Gi-Oh! Expert, Ruxin34. I have decided that's what it's called. The Blasting Draco Slayer. Okay. Ursarctic? Ursarctic. Ursarctic. That, that, one's, that one's tough. King of the Feral Imps. Ooh. Do Sulfacord. Oh my goodness. Do Sulfacord. Oh my gosh. Somebody's got to solidify how to say it. Well, I already solidified one of them, but that one maybe uh, someone else can do. I'll give I'll give the reins to someone else. Uh, the burden of naming cards and pronouncing them correctly. It's, it's a tough to bear. This is also a uh, collector's rare. So yeah, just letting you guys know all the hard work I put in. The Ogdotic Water Lily. I know, it's it's tough. It's very tough. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm pretty excited about the live stream this weekend. We also am gonna, are going to have, we have a Snake Rain. That comes as a Collector's Rare, one of the most expensive ones. Um, we're going to have some epic box openings coming up. That's all I can say. Oh, there's our first Ultra Rare. We Ruxin 34 specialed it. The Ursarctic Big Dipper. Ultra Rare. I have no idea if this is good. Oh, it is good. This is like the second best non-Collector's Rare. So the value in this set is pretty, pretty low from what I saw. There was like $24 card was the best card besides a collector's rare. And then this card was like $14, which is probably even going to go down. Who knows? So the value is not too amazing so far. But the collector's rare's prices looked okay. I mean, there's nothing like over $200. I think Skullmeister was the most expensive one. Pancratops, okay. 
Dinosaur Power. I wonder if any of these rares hold any value. I don't think any of them are over a dollar, so not really. Sulfacord. So there's Sulfacord and there's Dosulfacord. Man, this is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. They're just they're they're running out of names. They're just starting to just like, alright, what can we do? Let's take five names, stick it together, nailed it. Damage reptile. And the Alarit. Agado. <laughs> Ogdotic Dark. I almost mispronounced the name that I that I decided what it was called. Ancient Guardians. Can we pull Venomenon? Can we pull the Skullmeister? The Skullmeister is the most expensive card, so that was pretty big. I think I paid $65 a box at the local store, which is probably kind of high, but you know, that is how, for locals, they can't really charge, you know, the cheapest price. Which I have seen a lot of people talk about, you know, some people are not happy with their locals because they charge too much. And I think it's important to also remember that they do have a lot to, you know, they've got to pay for stuff. When these sets like this come out that are not good, they don't make any money, you know, they're not making much, they got to pay for all that stuff. So when they get the good sets, they tend to price it higher. I, I used to be very, I used to not really like locals because of that. And then I kind of thought about the business side of it and I was like, wow, if, if they have to sell, I mean, if they don't sell the good sets for higher, then it really can hurt them when those bad sets come out. Okay, Skullmeister. Rise of Snake Deity. Sulfacord Harmonia. Ancient Guardians. Last pack on this side. We need to speed it up. We've got two boxes. This is going to be a long video at this rate. All right, Vipers Rain. Snake, what is that called again? Rain? I think I said rain on the other one. That confused me. Watering Eyes. Ursarctic Slider. So we only got one of our Ultras on that side. So we're looking for three Ultras total. I'm going to move this box. It's kind of in the way. All right, next pack. We've got Ancient Guardians. The Guardians that are ancient. Here we go. King of the Feral Imp. Trade in. Trade in, I think, is also a collector rare. Snake Rain. It's all these rares from GX are the are the collector's rares. It's kind of funny. So they're like, they, a lot of Tactical Evolution cards. Because Tactical Evolution had a ton of rares like worth money. And commons as well. So they're like, yeah, we're going to hit all these in this set. It's kind of interesting. All right. Ooh. Ursarctic. Septentrion. Okay, this is a decent one. It's like eight, eight-ish dollars. Okay, not bad. That's actually pretty good because there's not many cards worth very much at all in this set. So that's pretty good. We will take that. So we pulled two decent ones. The car the best card in here is Dusulfacord, Coolia. Let's just call it Coolia. That make it a little easier. Okay, we just brought some special, but not to the rare, so it's all good. Ursartic Milk Tannis. Next pack. Two Ultras so far out of this box. No Collector's Rare so far. All right, Viper's Rebirth. It's really hard to see these rares of the new cards for some reason. Damage Reptile and the Cutia. Okay, okay, okay. The Pankratops, Master Paladin. That guy's from uh, Dimension of Chaos. You remember him. I think he's an Ultimate Rare in there. We pulled him. Uh, yeah, he is because we pulled it. And that reminds me of the old days. The good old um, Scar Red Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend. There we go. Let's get it out the correct way. Skullmeister. So that's a you know that's a throwback to when we pulled four ghosts out of like 300 packs. That was crazy. Remember I sold the last 60 packs and, and the guy pulled two ghosts out of them. That was pretty awesome. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> that was so cool. Evil Dragon Ananta, Dreamia, Scale, and the Mcbillis. All right, we're getting down toward the end. We have at least one Ultra. Can it be a Collector's Rare? I don't know if it replaces or not. I have not watched anything about this set. I think in Toon Chaos it didn't replace, but then in the next set it did, which is weird because Toon Chaos was better. I guess they realized there was too much value because Toon Chaos right off the bat had insane value, but then the prices just went crazy. I think it's like a $300 box now in first edition, which is pretty nuts. Very popular set though. Okay, there we go. Somewhat of a Ruxin special. And the departure. Three more packs. Got to be some juice in here. Here we go. Let's go. We've got the, oh wow. Agadotic Boundless. Oh, Zoha. 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 I like that. I like Zoha. Ooh. The Beautia. Okay, it wasn't this one. Okay, another decent one. So it looks like we pulled pretty good for the Ultras. We pulled three decent ones. 
Um, I don't know if we can even get a collector's rare out of here, but we're going to try, obviously. So, let's see. Let's check the last couple of packs. Snake Rain. Okay. None, none. Last pack of this box. Let's get something good. Let's go through it quickly. All right. No collector's rare, but let's try the second box. Maybe we can get one out of here. All right, 24 more packs. Let's just get them out of this box. Let's get going. Let's pull something epic. And I'm talking about the Skullmeister Collector's Rare, the number one card in the set. I will take that. How about a Collector's Rare, though? I'm down for any. I'm down for any right now. Let's see what we can do. We've got the uh, the Origin. Okay, I don't want to open them like this. Departure. It's too easy to spoil them like that. But it takes way more effort to open it the other way. I don't know why. It's like the motion. It, it's like more painful. I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I know. Very, it's very tough to open cards. Very um, strenuous. It's a, it's a workout. It's very difficult. Just keep that in mind, guys. Constant workout over here. Low battery on the phone. So hopefully, you're not. And speaking of phones, that's what I used to record my hands. I know a lot of you guys are wondering. A lot of you guys have asked iPhone 7 Plus. Yes, that is what I use. We're not talking about some fancy camera here. We're talking about iPhone 7 Plus. Epic. All right. Here we go. We've got the Dreamia. Scale. Reptile. Wavering Eyes. The Megapolar. Offering the Snake Deity. And the Nunu. Ogdotic Remnant. So far, nothing out of this box. Will we get a Collector's Rare? Do you believe in the heart of the collector's rare? Rise of the Snake Deity. We've got the Light Serpent. Dino Wrestler Pankratops. The uh, Flogos. Dinosaur Power. And the Mick Polar. The Mick Polar. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Round two. Box two of Ancient Guardians. Let me know what you think in the comments about Ancient Guardians. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you neutral? Have you bought any? Have you pulled anything crazy? Ooh, another Beautia. That's number two from this opening. Not a bad one. I think it was the worst by a couple of cents, but the worst compared to the other two, but still pretty good. Whew. All right. Yeah, so we have some epic boxes coming, um, some epic stuff I bought in the mail that's just sitting there and not getting here. It was supposed to be here days ago, and it's not even close to here. It still hasn't left the, left the original state it was in, so not happy about that. Kind of a bummer. But it's okay, we have other epic content to open, but unfortunately not at that good. We just rocked some special three cards. Unbelievable. Naya, the Ogdotic Remnant. All right, one ultra down, two to go. Hopefully a correct, a corrector's rare. An erect, okay, that sounded weird. I was about to say erector set, but that just, yeah, let's just keep going. <laughs> okay. Definitely not as excited about this set as like Ghosts from the Past because collector's rares are cool, but there's nothing like crazy collectible. There are some GX cards, which is nice, um, but nothing like old school. There's no, you know, Dark Magician, no Blue Eyes alternative, even though that's not technically old, but it's for a Blue Eyes. So it's more of a, I don't know, are these cards even playable? I guess some of them are. Snake Rain I know is, like some of those rares are playable. King of the Feral Imps and the Milk Tannis. So far, are these... Okay, these boxes might be mappable because we pulled one Ultra on both right sides so far. The left side has had... Is going to be... If it's two, you know, it's going to be the same. The Cutia. All right. One half left. That seems like they might be mappable. It seems like these Collector's Rare sets tend to be somewhat mappable. I mean, I remember Tune Chaos being very similar about where they were in the box. By mappable, I mean where the pulls are in the box. So like the fourth fourth pack down from, you know, the top or top right or whatever. Usually has an ultra, something like that. I don't know if the collector's rares w will be though. They might not be. So that's kind of the most important part. But it's kind of bad when they're when they're mappable. Ooh, Ursarctic Polari, another decent one. So maybe all the ultras are decent right now. What's probably going to happen is that you know. We get to the actual release date, which is tomorrow, aka today, which is when you're watching it. And, you know, when everyone can sell their their cards and stuff, Friday, I think, is the first day. Then the prices are going to go down for a lot of cards. Some of them, it will not. But a lot of the times, you know, there's just tons of cards ready to be sold. They can't be listed unless they're, a, you know, a, I think it's a... 
you know, Konami approved store, whatever they call that. I already, I just forgot. Uh, they can sell on Thursday, I think. So once you hit Friday, everyone can sell, like, you know, just regular old people like me. And then everybody's posting their cards for sale, and there's tons on the market. Prices go way down, unless it's a really good card or really hard to pull or something like that. Panker Tops. So a lot of these will probably not be the same price tomorrow. And I probably won't get as much value out of them as it will say today. That's kind of how that works for when I do these uh, openings the day of, because I recorded them the day before. And I edit the day before, so I use the day before prices. A lot of times people will be like, that's the wrong, the wrong price. Or... Or if somebody will watch a video a year old and tell me my price is wrong. And I'm like, yep, that's what happens. <laughs> it does not stand the test of time very well, especially a year. Okay, we're on the second box, guys. We have opened a lot. We've pulled two ultras so far. No collector's rare. Not good luck so far. Not good luck in terms of the collector's rares, the CRs. Hit the like button for collector rare. Here we go. Believe in the heart of the cards. Venomenon. Ayers Rock Sunrise. Also come out to the live stream, guys. It's going to be fun. Ooh, the Ogdotic Remnant. Okay, four packs left. Here we go. Whew, here we go. Scale. We got Damage Reptile. Watering Eyes. Or starting a Mega Polar. Okay, all right. Three packs left. What was it last time? Third to last pack, I think? Okay, is this going to be it? Let's see. Let's see if they're mappable. We're about to find out. So we got the... Uh... Okay, so there's a My in front. My Sulfa Cord. Okay, that's that's weird. Light Serpent. This is going to be an Ultra, I have a feeling. Here we go. There it is. The Amonesia, the Ogdotic Queen. All right, this one says it's like 12 bucks. So this is like the second best card we've pulled according to uh, just the TCG player price guide. Pulled, like not actually zoomed in to the closest or lowest price. It's just like the average they have on there, which usually is not right. But sometimes it's kind of close. Especially though early though, it's probably not right. Ogdota Calling. I'm guessing we're not going to get a collector's rare, but maybe. Gracia. All right, final pack, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this new, I was about to say Pokemon card opening for some reason. I don't know why. New Yu-Gi-Oh card opening. Yeah, don't. Yeah, you guys can go ahead and, and uh, burn me at the stake in the comments. There's a super rare. Okay, let's go over what we got from two boxes. All right, so here's what I don't really like about these collector's rare boxes. Let's show what we got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six pulls. That's it. So you get six ultras. If you don't get a collector rare, you get six ultras out of two boxes. So three and three. Three pulls in the whole box. It just feels a little bit weird. I don't know. We pulled okay in terms of value. Just feels like you come out of it with not much because a lot of these supers and rares and all that stuff, I guess some of them are sometimes worth something, but in this set, they're not really. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. That's it for this video. Tomorrow, live stream on YouTube. If you guys want to keep up with announcements and stuff like that, go to my Instagram, at Ruxin34, Twitter, at Ruxin34. Uh, I'm usually tweeting out stuff like that so you guys don't forget. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Oh, <laughs>